Um, you're building a algorithms around autonomous software, that's an unfair advantage. Not too many people are going to be able to copy that. Northrock Grumman, BAE, maybe if you're lucky, right, but that's unfair. No technical risk, lift. if there's any technical problems, I mean deep technical problems, most angels in the slightest bit interested. Commercial pain, empathetic and remedy driven. Um, what, I, what I like about empathy, margins. The more you understand what the problem is and who it's a problem for, the more you should understand exactly what it means to them. What's their value proposition? Right. Very important thing. If you're doing an IT process, it might be something where you're just cutting down processing time. Right. Um, signal processing particularly has this form of capacity and I don't need a huge, if you like, uh, TI or Samsung, you know, uh, hard processor. I can use it with a very small processor to deliver a very complicated situation, all right? Very important to understand what that means. A beta test or a field trial of any nature is the first thing most angels want to see. Uh, who says it's good and who are they? Because the first thing is you want to be able to step out of the marketplace with your target and validate it in their hands. Peer group, credible and technical endorsements. Is it, if it's very heavy technically, right? If you've gone and got lots of technical awards and bits and pieces, they're a very big help. Not just to angels, but to any investor or government or anybody else, right? So if your technical base to your solution has already had peer group, that's fine, right? Providing it matches with the first one on the top of the page there. You've got some way to protect it. Either hidden or openly with a pattern. Every angel wants to know how he's going to get out before he gets in. Okay? How are we going to get out of this investment? You know, I'm going to put, um, I made a small investment a couple of weeks ago in California, you know, but if, if I put half a million dollars in something, you know, I want to know how much I'm going to get out of it. Now, you're probably the last person in the world that's going to tell me I'm going to make 10 times my money in the next three years, unless you've done it before. And if you'd done it before, you wouldn't be talking to me in the first place. All right? Maybe. Maybe you need bigger money. All right? So, be very exit focused. All right. The good thing about angels is you don't have to pay interest every year. You're not paying reprincipal. They're patient, you know, but they want to be on the same page. All right. So you need to be very, very focused on what's your exit. How are you going to get out of this? All right. Very important. Market pull, not supply push. This is probably the biggest bugbear for all angels. Because most guys start pitches by simply saying, this is what I can do. Very silly thing to do. Right? Whatever you do, define the problem first. Right? Then discuss the remedy. And especially if the remedy right, has been put together with a person or persons that have got the problem. It was as simple as that. Right? I love the phrase when people come to me and say, I've got a customer built product. What's that? Oh, I've developed a new API and you know, I've got thousands of uh, customers and I just love what this young fellow's done for me, you know, because they can go away and build a whole lot of apps off this and that's a, you know, great value add to our customer base, right? Do not start any pitch with what you can do. Don't even start with who you are. Just start with the problem. Make sure everybody in that audience knows exactly what the problem is and who's got it, right? And then deliver how you're going to remedy the problem. If you've got an advisory board and or a mentor, always, always tell an angel or an angel group or an investor who is on your team. Like I said earlier, great teams beat great tech every time. Every time. If you can't get the market, it doesn't matter how good your tech is, right? So great teams, whether they're in the business or on the business, right, very important, right? Um, Generally, too, when you're raising private capital, say in Australia, right, there are not too many people that are actually angels. 
and I'll talk a little bit more about angels in a second, but these are the 10 elements that, I, that really should be in your pitch. Now, I know that sounds like a hell of a lot to deliver in a short period of time, but like I did with the oximetry, all of you probably got it because I could relate and you could relate to what I said, right? I induced a situation, which is a problem, right? To get deep oximetry, especially in emergency cardiac, right? By the time that people come in, and this is how I found this transaction in the first place, talking to the head of cardiac research, but also the head of cardiac emergency at St Vincent's Hospital, who said, nine out of 10 of my patients die before I can get an oximetry out of their right ventricle. They're going to put a catheter down by the time they get it out, rush it down to the bloody lab, come back, they're usually, unfortunately, not with us. All right. What if I could find a way right, to do that earlier? Could I save, and he said to me simply, I could probably save everybody. Well, that's a big upside, isn't it? What does somebody pay for that? All right. When you go to put your pitch forward, be very, very distinct in how you deliver what the problem is and who's got it. All right. Then the remedy, keep it simple. Nice and simple. Our friend last year used about 30 seconds of video, right, to demonstrate the iPhone style app. Everybody got it. It was pretty simple. It wasn't terribly much of it. Was it? How are you? you know, I'm trying to think, what's the time? <laughs> Only throwed about three or four little clips, but everybody got it straight away. Videos can be very, very important if you're trying to describe an outcome. Uh, without you know, getting into the technical detail of lifting the bonnet and showing everybody how it works. Okay. What are the preferred industries? Don't have to worry about that. Software as a service, very popular here. All right. These are the type of things. The third one probably doesn't affect you so much. The fourth one certainly does, and so does the fifth one. Right. The reason I, I picked these five is that intrinsically Australians are good at it. And when you look for global markets, you look, should look at things that people offshore really recognise that we're good at, whether they're technical people or commercial people. The other thing is, when you're pitching, if you're on a stage, don't pick some fictitious thing at the back of the room. Look at people, right? You know, turn your head, make sure that they're getting some sort of response. If you're not, you can't pick up, right, whether they're understanding what you're saying or not. Right? Very, very important. 